Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Alan Wake. We have started our process of uh, the journey towards Cauldron Lake to face the darkness. We have the clicker in our possession and uh, and six uh, <laughs> six bullets in our gun. It's uh, it's definitely going to be an experience. Uh, we're just uh, making our way down past all the farms and bridges and stuff. And I'm going to grab every single resource that I can get my hands on. That's kind of ominous, isn't it? Now, I do want to be looking around for any collectibles, as always. Uh, hoping for parkour situations, but I suspect that the game's not going to have that many. Oh, you can you can stand on this and it moves down slightly. That is such a cool. Sorry, Ner nerding out over gameplay mechanics. Mm. I I really don't trust this bridge, and this is why. Okay, we're fine. Let's just give our torch a little moment to recover. Can't even get rid of those spots on the ground. What the hell? Oh, jeez. Let's kill this before it comes at us again. And not fall down into the dark. The more bits that fall down, the better it is for us, actually. Fight past the poltergeist. Fighting might be a bit of a stretch. We do have flares. Probably could have uh, dodged that. Yeah, I assume it's gone and we don't have to face the threat. One down. One burned up. That one's gone as well. Nice. Nothing quite like being hit in the face by a tire. My health isn't too bad and it is having an opportunity to recover because I'm moving a bit slowly through. Behind the car. Burned up. Duck and cover, that's what we do. Uh. What the hell? Couple of flashbangs, that'll do the job. I actually meant to get a flare out, but flashbangs were probably the smarter choice of that. You know when flashbangs go off, they can be up to 180 decibels. I would not want to throw two in a close close area that I was then standing in. Like you wouldn't you wouldn't leave that with eardrums. Okay, back on the road. Oh, I 
I really want to explore all, all the side areas and everything. Like this whole bit down to the side, there's got to be something down here. Maybe not. But it just looks like such a good place to to put put hidden things. Okay, we'll uh we'll head up and we'll just have a little look over this side. Gap in the fence. Gap in the fence says exploration to me. The hell? You know what? Let's let's burn this thing down as quickly as we can. Is this actually damaging? the various fences. I think it might be. Come at me, man. There we go. Burn it up. Okay, now we can explore this area properly. Climb the hill, but is it going to get us anything? And I suspect not. I think this is this is probably just an atmospheric area that isn't really going to help us. Okay, we've investigated. Let's go back to the car. is throwing stuff at us. Let's get in quick. The car is a little bit beaten up. I'm not worried about it at this stage, but... I think we want to do too much in the way of future off-road shenanigans unless we don't really have a choice let's just have a look at these boxes quickly I mean, this whole area anything was over here on these. Doesn't look like anything of note. Just just a lot of detritus to dodge. Okay, let's let's try and back onto the road. Try and navigate. Mm, 
Okay. Road navigation isn't going to be a thing. So down and round we go. We don't have to go far around. Like, that's enough. I am going to head back and check. if there's anything we can grab over here, but no. Wasting a lot of ammo, but not a lot of benefit. I do see a barn over there. And a very convenient tree for those that like to get up on top of things. Get that barn. Let's spin it around. Looks like a bit of a safe haven. Fresh vehicle. Okay, that's that's handy. Are there supplies here? Well, we've got a flare, which is better than nothing. Nothing tucked right in the back. I don't want this uh, this section of the game to feel like we're just racing through it for the sake of it. So I do want to have a proper look around. Let's just very quickly check the outside of this. We can also have a little look at the base of that boat. Very low on ammo, so let's uh, let's get ourselves in a vehicle and just uh, just push on. I think this uh, is slightly better geared for off-roading, anyway. So. Road we go. And more vehicles just in case. Don't see any extra supplies though. Just, just clip him. Oh no. Don't don't make this bridge any worse than it already is. You ever get the feeling that something doesn't want you to get where you're going? Just burning off down below. Sorry, we're fine. Just, just keep to the light. 
I reckon I can probably keep. I was going to say, I reckon I could probably keep in this vehicle, but it doesn't look like I can. I hope I haven't just completely locked myself in place. Maybe around this side? Yeah, that works. Oh, oh. Plenty more bits of darkness to burn off. Still got 14 batteries. We used a fair few while fighting that large off-roader. certain I should be able to drive, but I think it wants us on foot. On foot with only four bullets, maybe I should have got here faster. Maybe I should have. Let me dodge past up. Flashbang. Oh, come on. Well, very least. Everything died around us. I think we're going to have to just not burn everything off the ground. Shotgun ammo. And revolver ammo. Cool. That works. Sometimes you have to do just enough to get through. And that's good enough. Right, what's this page? The Trail of the Dark Presence. The bottom of Cauldron Lake was a graveyard of things the lake had claimed in one way or another over the decades. The Dark Presence brought them up in its wake, scattering the rotten waterlogged hull of an old boat here, the remains of a long ago crashed airplane there, trees shattered under the impacts, the earth groaned, it didn't even notice. Cool. There is more ammo that I am definitely going to grab. And there's a bit more down here as well, if we're quick. <laughs> Doing my best Zoidberg impression. I just need to get far enough. There we go. Okay. Got more ammo, got more supplies. That that corridor is definitely not a safe place to be. The investigator in me just needs to look behind everything. seeing any collectibles over in this field though. Maybe we should take the big rig. Might be a little bit sturdier. And there's definitely no way of going that way except on foot so I guess we're driving up here. Well, other than my uh, obvious problems. In fact, let's let's go on foot and we'll just have a little look. 
Because this is accessible. And it's outside that fence. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but this is a very large open area. And that looks like something. Can be worth going off the beaten tracks. I know I do it a lot, and a lot of times it's not fruitful, but times like this, I feel vilified. Sarah and Barry in the well-lit room. In the end, Barry wasn't going to shoot Sarah. They both knew that. Once she had no chance of catching up to Wake, Barry gave up the gun and sat down on the floor, shielding his face from the merciless glare of the well-lit room. I don't think I'm ever going to see him again, he said in a weak voice. Sarah didn't have it in her to be mad at him. Besides, he was probably right. Aww. Now the question is, can we get back safely without anything trying to kill us? Hello everyone and welcome to Running at Night Simulator Asthmatic Edition. Here is our champion writer, Alan Wake. The last time he got physical exercise was 15 years ago. Almost back at the car. That will speed things up a little. Ooh, a sign. Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Trespassers will be prosecuted. Solicitors will be shot to see the yard manager when you enter. Wow. That is a local place. It looks like there's some supplies around the back. Uh, let's get the checkpoint first. Then we'll go have a look. Half the time I worry that these are going to be traps. So it said around here somewhere. Probably in that more central area. But I can't, can't go all the way around the back there. Oh my god, are we... Slightly worrying. We are drifting down to the ground. There we go. Not particularly helpful. Okay, I might have to restart the checkpoint. <laughs> okay. Let's try again. Without getting hung up on geometry. So around here. A bit more centrally it pointed us. No additional indicators though. Yeah. Those two clear. Now where's my where's my supplies? And I don't mean supplies like bad language joke. It also says over this one. Ah, it's there. I see. Flashbang. Cool. Flare. Two flashbangs and plenty of flares. That is actually worth trading a couple of shotgun shells for. Let's go back around the front. Can't go in the side door. Uh, we'll grab this checkpoint again very quickly and have a read. All visitors must see the yard manager. You must sign a liability waiver before entering the yard. If you're looking for a specific part, ask for it first. But you pull it, you must bring your own tools. Wear protective clothing. 
Warning, junk piles may shift. Hazardous area. It's a little bit of foreshadowing, I'm sure. I wish I had space for a workshop or warehouse like this. Uh, do I want that? Still got 11 shells. How much would we have in hunting rifle terms? Eight. I, th I think 11 shotgun shells is actually better for us at the moment. Especially in close quarters like this. Hey, there's a coffee thermos. I'm worrying we weren't going to see any more. Gonna have to go upstairs. Potentially open the gate, but flashbangs first. Ooh, flare gun. Thank you. Let's change back to the shotgun. Don't wanna don't wanna be letting that thing off accidentally. No chances with these guys. That is too much for a shotgun. So with that power on that we've just done, what's that going to let us do? Because I didn't see anything specifically move. Oh, and let, uh, it was opening that gate. Right, I see. Well, nine shotgun shells versus eight rifle bullets. It's a tough call. I think we'll keep the shotgun for the moment. I do like it. We'll take the new vehicle. I just want to have a check around this side of the giant crane. Yeah, we've already been around the back of this bit. So into our new wheels. So convenient that so many of these have got the keys in the ignition already. Oh, there's there's areas to explore. Oi! Gonna have to check out this area. The fact that the junk piles can shift makes me think that we're gonna have massive hulking cubes of metal, cubes of compressed car flying at us because of the poltergeists. But that doesn't stop me wanting to have a look around. Unlikely we're going to find any flares or anything in here, but... Developers have taken time to put this area together. It's, it's worth having a look at it. Unfortunately, there wasn't anything for us. So now I feel let down, but that's fine. There's a coffee thermos over there on the right. Definitely welcome for getting us closer to 
the maximum score on the collectibles. Doesn't look like there's anything else over there, though. I think we're going to have to bring the car up. Because I suspect we're going to need it. For the extra oomph of the headlights. carefully. Obviously concerned about that thing hovering over us like the Sword of Damocles. Nothing tucked over here. I mean this this could be a pretty cool race course. Or Destruction Derby. Oh it's going to be a Destruction Derby Arena isn't it? I think we found our target. Supplies. Revolver ammo, another manuscript page. Thomas Zane's last dive. Zane cut its heart out, but it didn't die. The thing that wore Barbara's face kept crooning sweet nothings sugar-laced with poison. He put on the suit, untied the monster from the chair. The thing in his arms thrashed weakly, but he held fast. He stepped outside, off the pier, and into the dark water, a sinking pinprick of light descending toward a bottom that never came. So he took it down... Down, down, down to the bottom of the lake. Yeah, this is, this is gonna... This is gonna be pretty hectic. Right, we've got flag. Yeah, let's have the flag gun out. Okay. Let's climb down rather than... Risking... Death. Yep, that thing has woken up. So I guess we're dealing with not quite the elephant in the room, but uh, the dozer in the room. Let's spin. Oh, jeez. That is not going well. You know what? Flare gun, pretty effective. Dead, dead. Yes, it is. Well, that's not good. Uh, I should make sure that the flare gun is loaded just in case we do need it again. I think we can just run through. Not yet. fine. We have a vehicle. We've got two flare gunshots. Could have been a lot worse. More piles of trash. But doesn't look like anything we can grab around here. That thing was surprisingly nimble. For a large vehicle like that, I thought it would have a much larger turning circle. But it was it was pretty much able to keep right on us. Let's 
uh, it's really lovely the way that the uh, environments weave together so you can look uh, look forwards and look back to different places. Feels like there could be something over there, but I don't see anything glinting. And it makes you wonder, like, was that the mine we went through first of all? This is a different part in a similar area, but uh, quite, quite different. All right, give me supplies. It's always an emergency. Oh, yeah, after Alan Wake's been through the area, they're going to have to get some rangers out. I plan back in the well-lit room. Restock I'd acted them. as if I knew what I was doing. I didn't. I was operating on the shifting logic of a dream. I had to fight my way to the lake through the horrors of the night. I had to flick an old battered light switch imbued with childhood magic. I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. I had to save my wife from the dark prison she was being held in. Lots of flare gun ammo. Let's uh, let's get it out actually. Four four flare gun shots means we can we can go a little crazy. Follow the arrow up there. Let's check the down before we check the up. All fenced off. That's a big no-go. So I guess that means we're going up. Looks like we've got light emplacements in the next area, so probably going to be some kind of tower defense. This <laughs> is giving us, giving us all the revolver ammo we might need. Uh, we'll push that in just a second. All right, let's uh, let's try and get this out of the way. That'll do. Oh, you have to keep doing it until it says done. I mean, that was that was way more than I needed, but good good for showing that you've actually got some strength. Alan. I take back what I said about you not getting any physical exercise. Clearly untrue. Okay, we have seven shotgun shells. We now have more shotgun shells. The pump action is going to do us quite nicely. Uh, we don't need to turn these lights on just yet, so let's wait until horrible stuff starts happening. Because you know it's going to happen. And I don't want them to be turning off at the wrong point. I will never give her to you. lights on just in case hi yeah C come towards me so this thing can start burning you down Change to the pistol for a moment. That area back there might just be so we've got somewhere to fall back on. Yeah, 
There's a coffee thermos. I will have that. It's definitely giving you all the options. I'm not going to switch gun again, though. Am I going to have to, like, Batman shoot the, uh, the flying stuff out the air with this thing? Is that what the game's going to make me do? It'll be cool. It'll be cool as hell. Thing is, I can't, I can't see what I'm burning up. You know, it's safe enough. Bit of view. All right. Come, come this way into the light. going to be play pigeon shooting with a giant searchlight and that was not the case I'm going to check each of the side buildings just to make sure there's nothing we're missing okay I think uh I think other than the well and the various flares, we'll push on. Oh, not just flares, but flare gun ammo. Cool. Make sure this thing is fully loaded. That's enough for us to squeeze in. We don't need to go any further. You don't need to show off, Alan. One more manuscript page. Oh, something's coming for us, right? The dark place I found myself in was unlike anything I could ever have imagined. It wasn't solid. It flowed. It was conceptual and subjective. For someone else, an artist in another field, it would have been very different. I could sense the story of the manuscript all around me. The words and ideas floating in the air, poised to become real. Cool. Dog. Game with your music? I thought I was in trouble. Little area we can climb. Not to get anything, though. I do wish there was uh, there was more jumping puzzles in this, but I understand why why there isn't. <sighs> well done, Alan. Trashing trashing the joint. Who knows what could have been down below us when you push that over the edge. Let's not look just in case it happens to be like some hikers that you've just murdered. I 
does feel like we are getting there. Whoa, let's just, uh, let's just do this. Yeah, yeah. Well, with that dramatic dodge into, into the checkpoint, uh, we're at a really good point to finish off this episode. So thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Alan Wake. See you soon.